cook kicked my ass. I'm supposed to pretend I don't know he's sleeping with my wife. Until he decides he's bored with her and she comes crawling back home to me. Everybody's got their problems, pal. No, I need your help. I'll, I'll pay you. I've got some money and I can get some more. I'm going to go back and talk to him and I want you to come with me. You saw? You won't take me seriously otherwise. I don't want to have to really hurt him. I just want him to leave Darcy alone. You're going to have to make it worth my while. Caps or not, this is not going to end well. I mean, I can pay you, but I've only got 80 caps. Sorry. I hope it's enough. Okay, I'll help you. Okay, good, good. I'm sure Cook will back down once he sees you're with me. Let's go. You do the talking, I'll be the intimidating presence. All right, come on. for you to shut up and listen, Cook. What the hell is this? And what are you doing here? Don't tell me he's hired you to help lean on me. What difference does it make? I just like to know who to shoot at when the guns come out. Well, I'm listening, Paul. What do you have to say this time? Just this. You leave Darcy alone, starting now, or else. Now that is a very bad idea. You don't want to pull a gun on me unless you intend to use it. But you think I won't use it? Huh? Do I just need to kill you? Is that what you're saying? Paul, put the gun away. Nobody needs to get shot here. No, screw that. Here we go. you got yourself mixed up in all of this. Don't get me wrong. I don't blame you for anything. I should have known better than to fool around with Darcy, of all people. Paul, he used to be one of my best pals. Oh, hell. Look, I've been thinking about making a break for a while now, and, well, time to take action. Past time. So I have an idea. <laughs> Maybe we can help each other, put this all behind us, you know? This had better be good. Here's the deal. I have some other, um, businesses on the side. One of them is helping Nelson Latimer spend his dad's money to make himself feel like a gangster. I like the part about the money. Me and Nelson are supposed to be meeting some gentlemen from Good Neighbor to exchange Nelson's cash for their chems. My plan is simple. We take the money and the chems. Hold on. I have some questions first. Yeah? What is it?
Why smuggle chems into Diamond City? Chems aren't illegal here. Sure, but Mayor McDonough takes a big cut of all the chems brought into town. Not everybody thinks that's good business. That's where me and Nelson come in. He fronts the cash, I make the arrangements. Cheap chems for Diamond City. Everybody wins. Anything else? What about afterwards? Won't everyone be after us? Come on. You know the answer. No witnesses. Anything else? Why do you want to screw these guys over all of a sudden? Oh, it isn't all of a sudden. Nelson's been complaining about my cut for a while now. He may be thinking about trying to strike out on his own. I've been waiting for the right opportunity to present itself. And here it is. Anything else? That's it. Okay. So you're in then? I don't know. An awful lot of unknowns. Trust me. We can do this. No problem. The meeting's always in the same place. They always bring the same number of guys. They'll never know what hit them. I guess it's worth the risk. Let's do this. Now you're talking. I promise, you won't regret it. Uh-huh. Hey, if they cared about it, they wouldn't have left it laying around. 